All right, let's shift over to another new technology area in LabVIEW 2009, and that's real-time math. What's unique about LabVIEW's approach to real-time math is the ability to bring different computational models, including your own custom .m files, directly into the graphical environment. To tell us about how this can help your overall design process, please welcome systems engineer Ben Black and software engineer Grant Macklin. Thanks, John. I'd like to introduce you and our guest this morning to Nicholas. He's a ground-based autonomous vehicle that's controlled by a single board Rio and outfitted with a Hukuyo laser LiDAR rangefinder. We've implemented an obstacle avoidance algorithm on the robot and deployed it to the real-time hardware using a math script node, LabVIEW's native compiler for your .m files. Now the program running on the, on the robot has three main parts, sense, think, and act. The LiDAR unit is allowing the robot to sense the world around it. The mass script node is then processing that sensor information with a field vector histogram, allowing the robot to think. And then the FPGA is generating outputs to the motors, allowing the robot to act. Now, LabVIEW doesn't yet have a native block for a field vector histogram generator. So we took some existing code and used a mass script node and deployed that to our real-time target. Now, Nicholas has uh, real-time hardware, and isn't it usually an issue when you want to take your own custom .m files and try to deploy it to real-time hardware? Well, John, it is difficult with traditional tools. Deploying a .m file with the MathWorks tool chain is a multi-step process involving intermediate languages and additional tools. A design engineer will develop their .m file and then typically toss it over the proverbial wall to an embedded engineer to translate to C code. This translation is not trivial and further requires verification that the code still functions as desired. He must then find an appropriate compiler for the real-time target and finally debug the code on the deployment platform itself. Although this could be done by a single engineer, it often involves a team of engineers with varying expertise. So what does the new MassScript RT module in LabVIEW 2009 do differently? Well, by utilizing .m files directly in the LabVIEW environment, the new LabVIEW 2009 MassScript RT module provides a direct path to all NI real-time platforms. LabVIEW will analyze the script at edit time and propagate strictly typed data throughout the underlying code. This allows the LabVIEW compiler to optimize the script for real-time requirements. With the new MassScript RT module, deploying your .m files to real-time hardware is as simple as a drag and a drop in the LabVIEW project. So guys, are we ready to see Nicholas run? Sure, John. Go ahead and flip the switch on, on Nicholas there, and he'll lead us off stage. With the new MassScript RT module, the engineer can take this M file and move from developing to debugging to deploying all in one tool chain. Looks great, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Grant.